Good morning. It's um, Saturday, September 15th, 2012. I'm going to walk down to Napa and get the part for that um, crew cab, the uh, donut gasket. I had to special order it. I guess um, exhausts have gotten so obsolete that everything on my vehicles for the exhaust are going to be special ordered or custom made. Because my vehicles have gotten so obsolete. <coughs> but anyway, that's what I'm going to start the day with. Go from there. Alright, off to NASA. <coughs> I got to deal with this donut gasket situation. My foot's killing me. I'll be glad when I can stop walking again and start driving. Well, there's Napa. Hell is always killer. <coughs> it's a nice crisp spring day. Oh, well, there it is. Couldn't get the centered steel one, oddly enough. At least there's something to move forward with. Yeah, that walk wipes me out. I guess I'm gonna just put this in here for now. I'm gonna pull the battery. And people keep throwing their garbage in front of our house all the time. It's really aggravating. George never picks it up. They pick it up all the time. Anyway, um, let's see if I can get this. I pulled the terminals off. I gotta replace this terminal here. This is screwed up. Should replace them both, really. Um, I'm gonna have to clean this up before bringing this inside. If my cat licks this, he's done. I'm gonna get some baking soda and water. I'm gonna pull this bracket off. Alright, I'm gonna go find a battery charger, set that up, and I'll set up some. Uh, water with baking soda in it. Uh, thank God I found it. <laughs> I was beginning to think I dropped it on the ground. Ah, uh, that makes my day. I gotta get some uh, good cleaning kit and start cleaning all this stuff up. It's been too moist down here. Let's bring them out somewhere else. Get some mold spray. Yeah, another thing I gotta do is prep and paint this uh, toolbox here. I'm gonna paint this black too. Get some rust starting on the bottom. I get this all ready for fox fence. I need to get some baking soda water mix. I'm gonna have to get some more baking soda. Yeah, this corrosion and crap is terrible. You don't want to do it too fast or something might get inside. The big thing you don't want, since it's neutralizing the acid. I guess I should, uh, I'm gonna pull I may have to dig up some more baking soda somewhere. Huh. Well, I guess this isn't that as acidic. Acidic. Well, that there was a rubber thing on the bottom. I'm gonna have to clean the heck out of this for sure. 
And that's not that acidic either. Awesome. Very good, man. Very good. This battery wasn't too bad. Windex or something, and just clean it off the rest of the way. Wow, well, that hurt. <laughs> okay. September 2008 battery. I'm four years old already. Alright, um, I'm going to clean the battery compartment and the rubber thing that goes under it. Then I'm going to move on to the. Uh, okay, well, that's charging up. I'll take uh, its chance to. Uh, Clean up the interior of the battery compartment. I cleaned everything else up. That way it's nice and clean. You won't have any uh, uh, electron leakage on the side of the battery, which will cause battery discharge. Alright, that's pretty clean now. I use Windex. I use Windex on pretty much everything. Um, I guess just have to wait till that charges up. I guess I'll move on to the exhaust from that other truck over there. So I can get that truck exhaust together and I can start getting that right up. going. And now I'm seeing why I uh, can't wash knits. You don't wash knits in hot water? This was a blanket. That's <laughs> uh I don't know what it is. Dollhouse blanket. No. Things really do shrink. I never washed knits before. This is the worst of it. I'll show you the other blanket. This is what's left of my other, <laughs> my other knit blanket. I don't think it's going to fit on the bed anymore. Didn't cover my feet anyway. I don't know what to do with this now. I guess I could use it for my cat or something. It could be his blanket. Anyway, don't wash nets <laughs> in hot water. That's the last thing it's done. I found some wire to uh, tie the exhaust up until I can find the uh, studs and nuts to uh, bolt them up. i got to see if this um, Y-pipe fits on the extended cab truck. And battling all this weird wildlife down here. Spiders and whatnot. <laughs> oh, crap. i got to go get Alright, I gotta try this again. I have to get a uh, 90 weight oil for this trans too. Well, the good news is it's going to fit perfectly. But, <laughs> the bad news is I have to cut this uh, other pipe. Uh, I'm gonna have to mark it somehow. Here's another problem. The other uh, pipe is smaller, and I'm gonna have to get an adapter because you always want the uh, small side to be on the.
pressure side. Otherwise, you got risk. You risk um, exhaust leaks. So I got the flanges or get an adapter. I have the rest of this pipe here where the guy uh, cut it to ship it. He sent me an adapter, so <clears throat> I guess I'll have to use that. Hmm. I guess I'll paint that and I'll, I'll remove the uh, rest of the exhaust system on that other truck. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is kind of starting to get money again. Yeah, I'm bad out of paint, too. I have to get some more paint somehow. Yeah, I guess what I'll do is I'll remove the rest of the exhaust. I'm going to have to rebuild the whole exhaust with a two and a half inch pipe. There's too much back pressure on one and seven eighths pipe and it's going to cause engine issues. I need to get the old exhaust off. Maybe I can use it on the uh, Sprint. Yeah, parts of it aren't really too bad. It's not the best, but it's too small for the uh, for this other truck. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be tricky. Well, that's about it for my shoes. They didn't last long, a month. <laughs> Cracked. Weird. I think I'm walking in acid outside or something. I don't know. This one too. This one's cracked too. Weird. Anyway, I got a different pair of shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna be all dapper now.